It's been about six months since the Playdate started rolling out its pre-orders to people that have been on a waiting list. And even though this is still fairly hard to get, I got mine in May and wanted to give my thoughts about where the Playdate is now. I'm not gonna cover the season one games as that's been covered quite a bit on YouTube already, but wanted to really focus on some of those indie games and especially games that are offered on itch.io. I'm gonna share 10 games, 10 games with you that you may wanna check out and kinda of give you my overall thoughts about where the, I think the Playdate is. And so, you know, Playdate's a really unique gaming experience. It's part experimental, it's part something else, it's trying to be something very different. And, you know, when I first saw this at PAX years ago, I was really excited. And when I got it, I thought it was okay at the time. But, you know, since its launch six months ago, there has been hundreds of games being offered on itch.io. And I take a look at 10 of those games, share them with you, and give you my final thoughts. So sit back, relax. Here we go. First up is Rocket Bites. And this is a fun little Gravatar style gameplay. And I really enjoyed this game. It's absolutely free, 15 plus levels. Some get really challenging. Really great music, by the way. But I found myself really enjoying playing this over and over again, as these are the type of simple games that I enjoy. And I think it's a good fit for the play date. Now, the control is a little touchy, but hey, this game's absolutely free. You can check it out. As many games on itch.io, you can sideload onto your play date. Next up is Five More Minutes, and it's a game about insomnia. Really kind of a cool premise, and I found this kind of a, a cute little bite-sized game. Now, you know, there's lots of games like this for the Playdate, uh, these little bite-sized gaming experiences. I think it is a good fit for the Playdate, and found myself really enjoying playing this. Um, there's times when I like games like this, and I think the Playdate does a good job offering these different unique experiences. But on the other hand, I would like to see more games, kind of more of the meat and potatoes. But, but I just wanted to share this as another game you can download to name your own price. Pretty fun. This next game is what I want to see more on the Playdate, and that's Legend of Eated. And this is a first-person dungeon crawler. I think there's going to be a lot of people that will like this. It is for sale, and it is on sale right now, and I think it makes it more affordable at a 50% off price. You can find items and explore. Really think that old school dungeon crawlers, first person especially, classic PC enthusiasts, are gonna like this. Um, I really enjoy this one, and it's, it's being offered chapter by chapter and I think this is going to be a great experience for many people. One of the better games that I've experienced. And next up is Necro Crisis. And this is an on the rails shooter. Perfect for upcoming Halloween. And, you know, this was a kind of a fun one. Had kind of a cool soundtrack and has good voiceovers. And so these are games that I think are a great addition to the Playdate library as I think there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna like these classic games. Good graphics, as well as I think that, that addictive gameplay, that pick up and play experience, perfect for what the play day can offer. Like many other people, I wanted to see some classic game remakes on the play date. And here is Tavern Tapper, which is kind of a, a throwback to a classic arcade game. And you know, I like what I see so far. I wanna see more of these. I wanna see more of these classic games and their interpretation on the play date as I think this is a huge, huge potential here. And what I've seen so far is kind of mixed. And so this is a, a pretty good game and I like the graphics style that they went with and the use of the crank is awesome. And so Tavern Tapper is an example of what could be done also there are several one-bit games, which are uh, updated versions of classic Atari and arcade games. And this is Demon Attack. And this is one of the better one-bit games. I don't know if I like all of them, but this is one of the better games as, you know, I'm a big Demon Attack fan. And I like 
what they did with this one. I think this is uh, a perfect example of what the Playdate can offer. Again, another game you can just download and play. Amazing. There's so many games like this on itch.io. So even if it's not your favorite, it's easy to install and it's easy to delete and it's easy to move on to something else if you want to play something a little bit different. Next, you have One Bit Frogger, same company. And you know, this is one of the better ones I thought. This is, you know, Frogger, you can't really mess up Frogger. But, um, you know, I thought they did a good job with uh, translating that classic gaming experience to the Playdate. I want to see more classic games being made and I look forward to seeing what else is offered, especially from this company, as I think they're getting better with their releases. These are some of the later releases that they've offered, and I'm excited to see what else is gonna come out. I definitely would like to see more NES and Game Boy style game remakes, as I know that the Playdate is capable of that, and really wanna see those types of games being developed and offered on the Playdate more. I've been into puzzle games lately, and Loopsy has that just one more game, just one more game kind of aspect to it. I really enjoyed this one, and just a simple puzzle game. But puzzle games are a perfect fit for the play date, and I think there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna play these types of games on the play date, as the play date has the potential to really make some excellent puzzle games and be a great platform for that. I really enjoyed this one. Another game you can just pick up and download. And there's just so many games like this. It's overwhelmed with going through all the games being offered. Next up, a really high quality game by Low Tech Games, and that's Tapeworm Disco Puzzle. And this is a well done game, and they've really figured out Playdate development early on. Nice to see that. And these are the types of games that I want to see more of, as it really shows high quality and something that, you know, I think many people are going to pick up and want to play. Now, this game does cost. Uh, it is on itch.io, but I think this is the quality of games that I want to see more of for the Playdate. I know that it's an experimental platform, but I think it does need to do a better job at offering more games like this, games that have some meat to them and ones that I think people are willing to buy as I think it's gonna be a quality game experience. This is Castle Helios. This is another indie release connected to Wizard's Apprentice, another release on itch.io. One thing you'll notice on the platform, is, especially for these games on itch.io, is the prices are all over the place. This is $7. I don't know what I think about that price, but I wanted to check it out as it looked kind of interesting from the screenshots and information. And for some people, you're going to love these types of games. For others, you're going to want something else, maybe something with better graphics, maybe something just a little bit different gameplay. But I do think the Playdate has huge potential. I think so far the quality has been mixed. It is everything from super indie and experimental to something of more substance and i think that there's a, a wide variety of games being offered i wanted to continue to further develop as i think more people to get their hands on a play date they're going to want to develop and make games and i'm really looking forward to that as i think this platform does have potential is it there yet i don't think so uh but i think so far I've been curious, and you can check out, look at all these releases on itch.io. You can go right now and check these out. There's so many releases for the Playdate. I'm hoping that people will continue to further develop quality games as I think the Playdate is a good platform, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else is coming out for it. But I think they need a store. I think they need an official store, and I think they need really some high quality games to come out to really promote this. And I'm looking forward to seeing what else comes out. Overall, I'm excited about the future. I think it has huge potential. It's not there yet, but I think it has the capability of being something different. And I look forward to seeing what's coming out. I am a big classic gaming fan, and I think this is a really cool platform. And I like what I've seen so far. A little bit disappointed that there isn't other offerings. 
of certain types of games, but it's still fairly new in development. And I think the sky's the limit of what could come out. And I know that there's several developers working on games as we speak. So what do you think? What are the games that you saw today that you're most excited about? Are you looking forward to getting a play date when they become available? In the comments below, let me know. And I want to thank everybody for coming to my channel and visiting all the wide variety of videos that I offer, everything from Atari to Xbox. I really like to offer a wide variety of content for you to check out. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.